Here's the sound of a ball bouncing. Let's talk about how I coded that. For starters, I used NumPy to create a linear space for the time variable. I'll go down here, time equals mp.lin space, and I'll set up some variables. Oops. Um, I'm going to use musical beeps. Set up, it's musical. I'll set up the player later. Time is a linear space. I need my duration equals the 10 seconds duration of the piece. Period equals 5. I think it's shorter. 3 seconds, that's how long it takes the ball to drop and rise again. Note frequency 8. That's how many notes per second. Scale equals whole tone. We'll come back to that later. Starting height equals 80. Floor height equals 40. So now we're ready to write the lin space. That's a linear space. Starting at period over 2. Going to duration plus period over 2 and with steps of duration times note frequency. Let's actually just look at that and print time. You can see that it goes from 1.5 up to 11.5 and it's linear spacing so it's you know from 6.3 to 6.43 to 6.56 you can see that it's about the same step each time. So enough of that. Now a complicated equation that comes from solving the dynamics of a ball bouncing under gravity. From a starting height minus floor height multiplied by 1 minus triple start parenthesis time modulo period and parenthesis minus period over 2 squared divided by period over 2 and parenthesis squared that plus floor height and let's look at pitches So it starts around 80, it slowly drops 70, 75, 72, and then it eventually makes it all the way down to 40 before dropping back, before rising back up again to 73, 70, 79. But these are not nice numbers. These are numbers with lots of decimal points. I want to apply a scale to them. We'll, get, we'll come to that in a bit. So for pitch and pitches, scale pitch equals apply scale of pitch comma scale and now I remember why I had a main.py def main not a main.py but just a main function and don't forget the if name equals main so it actually runs something I made that mistake as I was developing this. I'm going to def apply scale. And it's okay that I'm defining it down here even though I'm using it up here because it won't actually get used until I call main down here and by then it's already been defined so everything's okay. So def apply scale. You know, let's, let's simplify and just assume that it's always whole tone. That'll make this simpler return round of pitch divide by 2 
times two. That's a trick to get an even number. Apply scale pitch. So now we have scale pitch. Let's print out scale pitch. Uh, run this. Scale is not defined. Oh, yeah. I decided not to muck around with scale this time. So now we have nice round numbers. Well, they're all, and they're all even numbers, as we expected. So now we're ready to start making these sounds. We could try to do musical beeps player equals musical beeps dot player volume equals 0 0.3 mute output equals false and say player dot play note scale pitch comma one divided by note frequency that'll be one divided by eight so like 0.125 I think but let's see what happens when we try to do that planned note well if we have a typo then it really won't work player dot play note um, this needs to be a string And I didn't mean to print the scale pitch, but actually it helps here. 74 invalid note 7. It wants a note name. So unfortunately, we have to do some extra work here. For that, let's import music 21 and say that note equals music 21.note.note and note dot set the note dot pitch dot midi equals scale pitch and let's say note let's say just name equals note dot name with octave but unfortunately there are a couple of problems that we need to fix here the first being that if length of name equals three we have to rearrange things so name equals name at space zero plus name at space one plus name at oops, plus name at space two plus name at space one and also we have to say that name equals name dot replace I haven't figured out why Music 21 was inserting a dash next to the note B for some places, but it was doing that. And now we can use the note name. We don't have to convert it to a string because it's already a string. And I think we might be all the way there. Let's try it out. Oops, what happened? Uh, somehow it changed directory on me. Oh, I, I opened a new shell. That's weird. Pythonball.py. See how it's. Of course, that's moving more slowly than how you would expect it on Earth. So let's try a like really short period 0.5 but let's up the note frequency to 10 mm. I'm not happy with that let's try 0.75 and note frequency 12 feel for it. Let's do it one more time for eight seconds so that it ends up with a nice clean top of the bounce when we're done. We 
can also try starting off at 100 and not falling quite as low at the bottom end. And just out of curiosity, what if we reverse it? 55 to 100. Will this will the math work out this way? I actually like that better. Let's try it going not quite so high, but I like that better. This won't be a, let's try it for six seconds. Also, one more thing to play with for interest. Let's take away this, let's just say that pitch scale equals pitch and comment out that line and see if it sounds different to us. Sounds kind of odd, right? Let's um, let's also well, let's let's do it with scale type now. It's going to complain for a bit, but I'll put scale in here and say if scale is none, return pitch. Elif scale equals whole tone. Return that, LF scale equals chromatic, return round of pitch. And I'd like to add some, some different scales into here as well. Let's do chromatic. You know what would be kind of fun is if I make another one here, see the videos, bouncing ball, python ball.py. If I run two of them up, two of them at once. Oh, I need source dot dot slash dot dot slash bnv bin activate. Let's let them go a little longer, more like nine seconds each. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna be the same. started a little. Oh, it's slowing down. That's interesting. So here we go. That one's ready to start. That one's ready to start. Let's start this one. Let's start this one. And let's try that with whole tone and see if we can hear a difference. I think I heard, could hear kind of a difference. Okay, well, if you're still here, thanks for watching all that, and I'll see you next time.